Now, forewarn weather with Exact Track 4D. So what I say, 28th worst uh, now uh, air quality. That's still not a lot to write home about. Uh, not at all. <laughs> yeah. It's actually 29th now. Oh, oh, right. I mean, oh, so, since we, uh, there's an yes, update for you since just, I last year. Oh, yes, yeah. just improving yeah. every second. Uh, I think it's going to get a little worse tomorrow, unfortunately, uh, but then it'll get better by the weekend. But definitely feeling it tomorrow. Another air quality alert day. 63 in Detroit, 62 in Howell, 61 in Pontiac, low 60s now in Adrian. So that air quality alert has been extended through Friday. It's for all of Southeast Lower Michigan, and we're certainly not the only ones. 115 million people still under some sort of air quality alert along the East Coast, especially. Uh, but the activity shifted a little bit farther south and is now affecting Washington, D.C. In fact, there are shots of the uh, Washington Monument that you can barely even see uh, this afternoon. But over the last um, 20 minutes, there have been a, a little bit of a a deterioration with the site out at Romulus. So now uh, in the unhealthy range earlier at the top of the show, uh, these are these are updating every uh, so often. And so um, unhealthy and unhealthy for uh, everyone, not just those with asthma and respiratory issues. But DC seeing the worst of it tonight, New York and Boston improving somewhat. And as we go through time, uh, it's going to get a little worse before it gets better on Friday. But then uh, things start to clear out a little bit, especially on the East Coast. New York looking much better as we look at Saturday at 8 a.m. And we will be uh, a little bit better here in Metro Detroit. Drought monitor came out today and as expected, things have gotten worse. We have not seen any rain since May 20th. There's now a moderate drought in Adrian and also in Monroe, but we do have some rain in the forecast and it could be a good dose of rain as well Sunday and on Monday and even lingering <clears throat> excuse me into Tuesday. And then Wednesday, there could be a couple of sprinkles in the morning, but otherwise really Sunday, Monday and early, early in the morning on Tuesdays when we expect the most rain. So if you have a graduation party, things outside on Saturday, Saturday looks dry. The front's going to stay off to our north and west. It'll sink south Sunday morning. We'll make it through part of the day Sunday. Then as this area of low pressure starts to move to the northeast Sunday afternoon and evening and into the day on Monday, that's when we start to see some heavier showers, especially Monday afternoon and we could definitely use it. Uh, we are at a deficit now by about three and a half inches. We're not going to make that up, but at least we'll get some rain and that will also help clear out and scour out um, some of the pollution in the air as well. 52 and mainly clear quiet tonight with that air quality alert still in effect and tomorrow will be in the mid to upper 70s. A few clouds, but pleasant temperatures. And as we look ahead to the future forecast, uh, the weekend looks nice on Saturday. I know there's a lot of it's wedding season and graduation parties looks fine. After 8 or 9 o'clock, there is a chance for a shower, but the majority of the rain does come Sunday afternoon. We briefly pop into the low 80s on Saturday and then uh, back down into the 70s for a few days with that rain-cooled air. Really need that. Yeah.